Dennis, are you there? At your service, sir. What do we have today? Uploading visuals, sir. But looks-wise, I'm never a day again in my life going to damper on my looks or say I'm less than worthy than for somebody else. Like we, everyone should say they're a ten. You are a ten. You're the only one you get. You're the only person you get. Woman ranks herself a ten while dealing with mental health issues. Why is this a problem? Welcome to Manage for Highlights Daily. Shout out to whatever. They had a great live stream with a lot of pure golden nuggets. Make sure you check it out. Link in the description. This is not a this video. I repeat, this is not a this video. Mental health issues are nothing to joke about and should be taken seriously. Our videos are made for educational purposes with the message to protect yourself at all times. This one hits the core of the problems of modern Western women, modern dating, and modern relationships in general. This is the video that you need to share with your brothers and sisters because in order to protect yourself, you need to know what or who to protect yourself from. This video addresses a major issue that only seems to get worse, so you better buckle up. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do because we manage we she. Okay, here's the official rating because y'all rated, a lot of y'all rated yourself 10s. Freshest toothbrush, $10. Uh, thank you, man. Official rating for tonight from Terra on down, 9828255. Okay. okay. Rock and roll. So you're Christian. What the? <laughs> Don't you think it's a bit of hubris, though, to say that you're a, a 10? I think these what? girls are all beautiful on the panel. So Here's I the saw thing. a thing, Self a video. Love, baby. Exactly. And it's like, so last time I ranked myself an eight, right? Okay, we're talking about looks only, not personality wise, whatever. Looks are completely subjective, right? Mm -hmm. So somebody could find you the most drop, damn, drop dead gorgeous man on the earth while somebody else could not find you attractive at all. What justice am I doing myself if I'm already ranking myself lower? I'm the only one I have. Why am I not saying I'm a 10? Personality wise, I know maybe I'm maybe I'm lacking a point. Maybe I have just a couple things Why? to pick up. I don't Why think it's my personality wise, I know mentally I'm not the best person I could be. So I know I could be a better version of myself right now. Like thought mentality wise. That's why I know I could be like maybe a nine overall and then raise up to a 10 once I get my mental right. Mm -hmm. But looks wise, I'm never a day again in my life going to damper on my looks or say I'm less than worthy than for somebody else. Like we, everyone should say they're a 10. You are a 10. You're the only one you period. You're the Smoke only show. person you get. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And when it comes to ranking yourself from one to 10, these women do not understand that they should not rank themselves from their own perspective. What is your rank in the sexual market? What is your sexual market value? You will find out real quick that there's a consistency in the way the beholder universally judges your looks. Good looking people have an edge in almost everything they do. From the cradle, beautiful babies are treated with more care and attention. Without doing anything, beautiful people are more likely to be noticed, given the benefit of the doubt and judged more positively. They are considered more intelligent, more trustworthy and healthier. They receive lower penalties when they do wrong things and more likely to be forgiven sell more, have sex more often, and we are more likely to see them in prominent places. People find a symmetrical face more attractive than an asymmetrical one. Psychological studies show that more symmetry can have a positive impact on an attractive face, both in women and men. And this is where the antidepressants come in, because it doesn't matter how much you drink and serve that feel-good Kool-Aid, the market has spoken. Ask former supermodel Paulina Poroskova who is on antidepressants because she's no longer on top of the mountain and now is invisible to the chats. Look at the hypocrisy of this foolish commercial. Sure, I'm getting older. I'm not the best I've ever been. She's doing exactly what this woman on the panel is doing. Serve that feel-good Kool-Aid just to go home and feel depressed. Let's take it a step further and buckle up. 
Um, yeah, it's like right now I'm like, I was in between places for a little bit. Um, like I have struggle right now. Like I was going through um, trauma response therapy for a long time and I stopped my trauma response therapy and my medication and I probably should be back on it. But what? I decided for personal reasons not to. So I feel like until I finish with that or finish my therapy, that I won't be a full 10 Wait, overall what, mentality, what, personality. What, what's, the, what's the medication? Um, I was on Zoloft, I was on Wellbutrin, I was on, um, um, what's the P one? Um, uh, no. Prozac? No. Prozac. 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 And, um, there's a T one. It's to make me fall asleep. Testosterone? No. no. <laughs> I got it. It's like right there. I can think of it. Um, like oh, yeah. We got the pharma pharmaceutical too. sales rep over here. <laughs> there's a Z. Oh. Yeah. Trazodone. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, that's a cocktail. I was on that's like 600 plus milligrams a day. <laughs> Holy shit. So until I get that figured out, probably not a full ten. God um, that's damn. Why, that's why I'm single. I'm were you, were you asking them? Dennis, give me all those meds she mentioned. Antidepressant medications are used to treat a variety of conditions, including depression and other mental slash mood disorders. Zoloft. This medication may improve your mood, sleep, appetite, and energy level and may help restore your interest in daily living. It may decrease fear, anxiety, unwanted thoughts, and the number of panic attacks. Wellbutrin. Bipropion is used to treat depression. It can improve your mood and feelings of well-being. It may work by helping to restore the balance of certain natural chemicals, neurotransmitters, in your brain. Prozac. Fluoxetine is used to treat depression panic attacks, obsessive compulsive disorder, a certain eating disorder, bulimia, and a severe form of premenstrual syndrome, premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Trazodone. This medication is used to treat depression. It may help to improve your mood, appetite, and energy level as well as decrease anxiety and insomnia related to depression. Trazodone works by helping to restore the balance of a certain natural chemical, serotonin, in the brain. You cannot make this up. When she was asked to rank herself, her answer should not be a number. Her answer should be Run! Get to the chopper! UA Unavailable YDWTS You don't want that smoke. She has no business participating in the dating market. Credit is given where credit is due because she is not dating for now because she needs to work on herself. However, this was not always the case. Check this out. El Boogie with the big $20 soup chat. Really appreciate the support, man. Thank you. Shout out to the two women on the left. They seem they seem have the best balance of emotion slash logic towards men. The chick with the tattoo neck is cute, but she talks too much. <laughs> Can I say something about that since I talk too much? I'm Hold on, I'll phone. just finish re reading it. Imagine coming home to her voice after a stressful day. <laughs> okay, go ahead, respond. My last two relationships ended because I wouldn't talk to them enough. Really? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. W wait, were you... you, you were, this, this isn't meant to be disrespectful. Were you on medications at the time? I was. <laughs> this is pure gold! Wow. Chase? That might have been this the most intelligent thing he said all night. You know what? Wow. That is so true. Because I am freshly Dang. off. Pretty fresh. Oh, do we have a Kanye situation going on? And I on used here? to not speak. Like, I was known as the, like, her. You know? I would have been like her this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> One in four women are on antidepressants. And I'm telling you, on the surface, you don't think it's a big deal. Because recognizing depression in yourself or others can be difficult because depression manifests itself differently in everyone. I didn't know she was dealing with depression and trauma until she mentioned it. I thought it was just another female with an effed up attitude. Now check this out. That's interesting. You know what though, I get, I get the impression I though, balance. I get the impression though that you're being argumentative because obviously we, you've been invited on the podcast, we're here having a debate and I suspect your interactions one on one with a partner would probably look different than how you've been communicating with us. Yeah, I just make right sure now. I don't date people who think the way that some people do. All right, on what? Those <coughs> what? Chase. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, like, even if it's like with his opinions, like, if I would have been hearing this, like, I feel like you guys just like really like 
targeted some of the things that I'm most passionate and vocal about just from my career and sure. what I'm involved into. So I, I would feel like it'd be an injustice to sit here with my mouth shut. Okay. This is exactly the problem. I've experienced this myself. When she feels good, when she's comfortable, you could experience a more pleasant side of her, but that's not how life goes. Life is not all sunshine and roses. And I guarantee you, in relationships, you will have your down phase, your bear market, turbulence, misunderstandings, disagreements, and that's when you learn the hard way that she needs therapy because she doesn't know how to deal with the situations when she does not feel safe, when she's not comfortable. She's been running her mouth on this panel because she got triggered easily and eventually she left over some transformer shit. Now this next clip is to hold us men accountable. Check this out. <laughs> Okay, Mike Davis, thank you for the $10 soup chat girl and the wife beater who thinks she's got a line of husbands. <laughs> what she really got is a pack of Nigerian scammers. Wait, who has, who's in the wife beater? Is this supposed to be a wife beater? I think that's it. It's right. a tank top, you imbecile, first of all. Oh. <laughs> also, call some wife beaters anymore. Yeah, second. No, honestly, I've had some pick of the mill men who would want to. I just don't want to be in a relationship. It's just, I don't know what, because I have tattoos. You think that a man with money or or standards or higher ground is not gonna like me. Like, I, you're very wrongly concerned with the wrong thing. Don't worry about my pockets or my engagements. I've had plenty of proposals offered to me. I'm doing just fine. Thank you. Thank you, Mike Davis. M Milos track with how, the Australian. Wait, wait, wait. How many times have you been proposed to? I've actually been proposed to three times. Wow. wow. Yeah. Believe her, fellas. A lot of guys are just one blowjob away from going back to the plantation. Let's be honest, she's not a 10, but she is cute in the looks department. If Mia Khalifa can get married with her immoral activity spread across the internet with just one Google search away, don't you dare think this woman is lying. She may be exaggerating with the three proposals, but this is exactly why women like her feel justified in calling themselves 10s, because they have thirsty sims in their DMs 24-7. But we already know what happens to these guys. Absolutely. Okay, so obviously they're asking in your heads, and I know where we're going here. What about Jay? Oh, <laughs> oh damn it! I appreciate that, I appreciate that. I mean, Jay is handsome, Thank he's you. smart, he's a stand-up guy, you've known him for 20 years. Right. I mean, I don't know how you feel about her, but I'm gonna make oh this happen. Gosh, you. <laughs> like, oh. Don't look at this from a service level. A lot of these cute girls have no substance. They are nothing but liabilities. Why do you think they cannot keep a man? Oh, wait a minute, that's men's fault, right? After a while, you cannot use this excuse. If you have the same problem with everyone, you are the problem. There's more than meets the eye with these women. They, uh, <laughs> I have no shame, I have no shame. It's like the way I'm fucking breathing. If it wasn't for that cocktail, yeah, right, I man. would've been dead a long time ago, so. Manus, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been Hello.